Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Lenore von Stein, and this is an episode of The Facts. And I'm here tonight with Beth Griffith, Bern Nix, and Andrew Bolotowski. And this is a rehearsal. We're rehearsing for the episode that we're about to uh, tape. And this work is called Charlie's Fantasy. It's about this guy, Charlie, and uh, who is a would-be artist, uh, would-be. And, uh, and, you know, this is a, a situation that many people find themselves in. So this guy, Charlie, I'm going to give you like a, a little overview of Charlie from, from early Charlie to the end of Charlie. Uh, so like Charlie, uh, Charlie used to say that he didn't trust anyone. And he, he, he's, so he walks around kind of in a fog, you know, kicking stones and smoking. And, and, and he meets this woman, Lucretia, at an after-hours party in a pet store where she works. And uh, it's, it's a dreamy meeting. And uh, three days later, uh, she moves in with him. And five years later, she moves out. And, um, and they only said, I love you once. And they never had good sex. And, um, and after she left, he, marries his, he married his banker. And he prepared for the future, uh, his future. Charlotte! Charlotte! Charlotte is a dolphin! Charlotte is a dolphin! Let's try this piece of music called Fixed. And um, I've used this uh, a bit in this, in this story about Charlie, because Charlie is a guy who likes things uh, in their place, you know, in the place that Charlie has found for them. You know, he's, he's got a sort of a Henry code of life. And uh, things are, you know, don't we all and to some extent? But anyway, so, um, so Charlie, so Charlie is, you know, my way or the highway. And that's one of his problems dealing with other people, uh, especially when he's dealing with other, well, we're all my way or the highway. You know, got to find a negotiating place. So do you want me to count this off for you or you want to just hit it? Okay, so let's, 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 let's hear it. I'm counting on Hammurabi. Okay. <laughs> You'll tell me what to do. Thank <laughs> you. 
You want to try it again? Yeah. Let's try it one more time. Okay. This Hammurabi is on the bus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hammurabi on ride. Hammurabi on ride. Please. Okay, please. Okay. Please. Okay. So it's on the it's 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 on the last okay. So you know we move along, and um, so a little more about this uh, Charles person. Um, so 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 Charlie uh, uh, marries a banker. Uh, he plans for his future, uh, and he becomes a politician. And uh, but he gets thrown out of office because one of his neighbors is is even more conservative than Charlie, and he so. But he's you know he's made a lot of money and his money's problems are behind him and he retires to an ultra modern house, uh, near a football field that has been named after him, and he learns to ride horses and he enters stock car races. Go I used to have a friend who was uh, from a sh Chicago political family. I mean, that was like the family business. And um, so she described her she described her life uh, as a child at, at the family house is, hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? <laughs> and, um, uh, you know, we got to get Aunt Mary, you know, elected over here because she's got to stabilize her income a little bit. And, you know, and, and you know, it's a fan. some people are, you know, some people have stores, some people go into politics, you know, for whole family. So, you know, they, they didn't rise very far, but enough to take care of business. These are good civil service jobs. Uh, sure, let's try sparkling. Sparkling, 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 sparkling. Where do I have it? Okay, I have it here. Um, um, 
I'm fairly uh, interested. Well, I don't know how, why I'm putting it that way. I'm, I, I'm interested in politics. I, I'm really interested in politics. And um, for a long time, I've hid that interest because it didn't seem so safe. Uh, but, uh, and it still doesn't seem so safe, but I'm not hiding it anymore. What can I do? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, you know, I figure now I'm old enough, you know, whatever happens, you know, okay, say, rah. Um, okay. So let's, I'm going to put on my glasses for this. Let's, you're going to cue us? Yeah. Required is on the truth. I would like nice clothes to put with But I know what's going on. The outside. took some liberties. I'm having struggling with my voice a little bit tonight, but um, I, actually, I think it worked all right. Yeah. Um, so, okay, so a little more about Charles. Um, so the end of the overview of Charles. So uh, eventually, uh, his banker wife leaves him for a younger man, um, and he's really upset by this. It devastates Charles. And, but he, he recovers rather quickly. It just takes a couple months, really. And, um, and, and, and after that, he grows. You know, some people, when they get older, they get better looking. Well, that happens to Charles. He gets more and more handsome. And uh, yeah, yeah, he gets really beautiful. It's like he suddenly, like he sits on his spine correctly. He sits, his, the shape of his face and everything really works finally. All the little puffinesses and, and poutinesses or they've, they've, well anyway, he looks much better. And he becomes a TV star. He gets so handsome. And, and he remarries and he has five kids, some of them in his marriage, some of them out, I'm not sure, you know, but in the end he ends up with five kids. And, um, and then, you know, some years later, uh, his kid's not grown yet, but he dies, diabetes, and, and they bury him under his pool. struggling for power. Do I have enough power? Is there more power do, that I need? Or is it, you know, is, is the problem that I don't have enough power? And, and, and you know, where can I get it? It's, you know, is it... Could we try next to new? Who 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 has the who has the 
Yeah. So uh, let me just explain again to the audience. Uh, in the facts, in these, it, we move from, from, you'll see in the next episode when we do it, actually, here we're practicing. Uh, we move from, from text to improvised music. It's really improvised. It's, it's usually pretty short to compose music fairly seamlessly, like, a, like uh, you know, in my mind, like a Hollywood movie. Uh, just zippity doo dah, uh, so that um, the audience, you know, can't leave. <laughs> this is one of my ideas, once, anyway. Once, once. Thank you. You ready? How do you feel? Good. good. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Real good. <laughs> so you know, like Charlie, Charlie is Charlie is one of these. Charlie is, is 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 he has all the qualities for becoming an artist. He's 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 smart. He's uh, sensitive. He's uh, he's creative. But he's frightened of his own feelings. He's frightened of his own insight. Which is that this is the other side of arts. This is what you have to. Uh, uh, be able, I think, yeah, at least that's been my experience, my life in art, the courage to overcome these fears, to tell the truth, you know, when you think people are going to, you know, be nasty to you or hurt you in some way for having done it, and they often are, you know, or maybe they don't even know they are, but it makes you feel that way. So Charlie has this problem, uh, and he doesn't overcome it. Uh, uh, at least for most of his life, or maybe all of his life, actually all of his life. And I just want to backtrack on a little detail, because you asked me the other day, because in this story, Charlie goes into, he meets his first, this, this first big romance that he has, Lucretia, in an after hours party at a pet store. Yeah. And that what happened, you know, because Charlie goes into this pet store all the time. Why does Charlie go in this pet store all the time? Because Charlie has two large carp that swim above his door frame in these large, you know, the, the more water you give these fish, the bigger they'll get. Right. And Charlie is, is got this, uh, you know, he's got this ascetic thing happening. He's got these two, these two big carps swimming above his door frame, and he's got a couple of cats. Those and corpulent carp. Uh, well, I, not 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 really fat. They just, you know, the most water. They don't get fat. They get they get, you know, they have more. They grow bigger. You know, they'll they'll, they'll adapt and go smaller. And um, and he and. And he has a couple of cats, and he goes into this pet store regular to, to buy, you know, st supplies for this carp and the cats. And, um, and he gets friendly with the people in the pet store, and then they have a party one night, and they invite him. And that's when this romance starts with this woman who works behind the counter in the pet store, who he's been getting to know going in to buy stuff for his carp and stuff. And I saw this. I just have to, I, you know, I'm making up this stuff from pieces of my mind. And I saw this stuff many years ago. I was, I was, I was interested in plants, and I was, and I went to visit a bonsai master in Berkeley, California, and uh, and he had this thing. He had these two carps swimming in this big, 
in this big tank above his doorway, you know, and all these these trees in different states of being, you know, contorted and made into yeah, something yeah, else. a really old world view of nature, relationships to nature, a relationship to nature. Because you, you should be able to take a tree that's been bonsai and take it and put it in more, more bigger space and it gets bigger. It's just been miniaturized in relationship to how much it has. Let's try this thing called guitar. Guitar. Okay. one of Charlie's problems that he is and, and whose problem isn't it that he is partially shaped by his culture so his good mind which in another culture would might be even better or in yet another culture might even be worse you know what I mean but it's shaped by the particular one that he had the you know the that he was born into you know he's not he, he didn't control that <coughs> and um, so uh, and that's uh, and that's one of his problems is and, and the people that he had to live with as a child his parents who were who were pretty weird uh, and um, uh, well his mother was an alcoholic that's a problem um, <laughs> about being attached to some substance is that you, you it, not only does the substance change you, but that's really what you're looking for all the time, you know, the next whatever it is, you know, the next change of reality vis-a-vis -vis that substance. <laughs> What do you what do you what do you look for next? What do you want next? What do you have next? What do you what, what what's there next? What, why don't you why don't you even have that? Why why did you why did you do that? Why did you go there? Why did you oh did, could you go get that out of the other room, please? Could could you please go get that in the other room? I, I don't really you know 
know, I don't, young Charlie, come on, give me a break. I'm, I'm your mother. Do what you're told, do what you're told, do what you're told. Do what you're told. As we end this segment, uh, this is the facts. You can find us online. You can find us on the TV. You can, you know, I don't know. Maybe we're in a bottle somewhere. I don't know. You know, we're, but we're, um, well, you know, whatever we are. And I hope you enjoyed yourself. And so, for now, ladies and gentlemen, this is all of us saying to all of you, Good night.